Do you know there is love? There is love everywhere in nature. Whenever you need that love, all you need to do just come out and surrender to Mother Earth. And this is how it looks like, surrendering to Mother Earth. You come to the silence and you experience divine bliss because we are living in the kingdom of God. We are living in the kingdom of happiness. And you just ground yourself. You come here and you ground yourself. You look deep in the sunset, the sunrise. You hear the birds, all these 432 hertz could rise your vibration, could activate your heart to the divine moment and you will just feel this pure bliss. That's all you need to do. Just come out in nature, look into the sunlight. This is how you recharge your pineal gland as well. You activate your heart. You just observe this beautiful moment of life. This is pure love. And this moment, it's for now. It's for now. All you have is just now. You will not get this same exactly vibe. It's just right here in this present moment for you. You came here to surrender to this love every time, every single time. I'm sitting on a rock. I'm getting grounded. I'm, I'm surrounded by pure love. One of the most purest energy of earth is nature. Nature does not do anything wrong doing things. They, their love is silence. They don't speak like we do. They're just vibrating high. And once you come here, you just get one with it. You just get one with it. Just like me right here. Look how I am vibrating so high up. I'm just here and I'm vibrating so high. This is the happiest moment of my life. And you got to create your own reality. You got to create your own life. You got to find your own peace, bliss and balance. And this moment of my observation, I want to share with you all because you all deserve to know how beautiful life is. And you create each of your moments. You create each of your in a box without coming here and feeling the bliss but i choose happiness i choose love i choose pure heart i choose pure bliss i choose to be peaceful again we are living in the kingdom of god which is nature okay the kingdom of god is nature and you are nature there is no separation Hey, sending love to you all. Hey, Mia. Hey, Joy. Hey, Ola. Hey, Anya. Sending love to you all. So you just come out in nature and you vib you choose to vibrate high. You choose to be in love with your present moment, okay? You choose to get recharged by the sunlight. Again, it activates your pineal gland. It it charge you up it charge up your heart your pineal gland it brings you to the present moment all of the people all of these thoughts everything can be disappeared just at the moment if you really choose to be in this present moment and just breathe become one with the breath because you are the breath of life without you there is no existence and you are divinely guided, divinely protected. You are loved. You are wanted. You are sacred. You are pure. Because this is who you truly are. This is how you've been born. This is how you've been born. You are all that there is. Also surround yourself with the beauty of earth, the beauty of nature. Come, enjoy, relax, surrender to earth because you don't know what, what, what Mother Gaia has, has to offer you tomorrow. There is a natural mystical flow of nature that you cannot control. 
don't try to control have any kind of control over your life always choose the peace bliss harmony anything that harmonize your heart anything that brings you to divine love and joy this present moment this right here that i'm sharing this is what brings me this is because right now i am in peace i am in blissful state i'm the happiest person on planet earth i'm i'm feeling so beautiful my beauty who is watching my beauty the sun all of these three trees this water the rocks every little thing here right here is watching me growing it's watching me growing it's been here with me it's all interconnected it's been here with me since the moment i took rebirth how can you forget your true home your true lover which is mother earth you know we're just passing by here on planet earth we didn't came here to stay we're just passing by so we came here we took rebirth here on planet earth for a reason and i i i got feelings like this that i took rebirth here on planet earth because earth is so beautiful and the spirit of earth needs me down here that's why i took rebirth there's a reason behind every little thing that's why we took rebirth here on planet earth there are sacred reasons sacred missions that is going on in our into the spiritual realm that you might not be aware of and to be be aware of that ultimate truth why you came here on planet earth there are trillions of planets in into this mil milky galaxy into this universe trillions you can't even count so what are you doing here on planet earth into this human body what are you doing the body itself it's it's taking care of itself but the force the life force itself is the soul that is within this body it's immortal it's traveling spaces to places planets to planets so many dimensions there are so much of this existence you are here to be aware of it as well because if you don't know your true self if you don't know what you are capable of how will you know how will you know we are all just pure love vibrating art is so beautiful that all of the higher deities like you and me we need to come down here on planet earth and take rebirth because we get this beautiful body given by nature because once once you go out of this body this body go goes back to its own elements did, did you realize it some they just go underground you just you know put them underground the body some put it on fire throw it on water whatever you do ashes goes on the air so this body you got it for very temporary this body is very sacred because through this body you get to experience the life of planet earth the life itself i'm one with mother nature i love mother nature and and i will be coming back here because i'm so in love with her beauty i'm so in love i'm so connected my heart is one with her heart look how beautiful it looks Oh my god, my pineal is recharged. I run something in my heart. I'm so in alignment with my intuition, my heart, my, myself, that something within me just, just don't feel right when I was back home. It's like something been calling me. And I took different paths, like zigzag, zigzag, and then I am here. Like, look, it no roots around me. I just came from down there, guys. <laughs> I just came down. <laughs> I don't fear anything and nothing fears me because I'm vibrating in love. I'm vibrating in love. There is no such a thing as animal or snakes or this and that can harm you because you need to vibrate on that level of frequency where it match with their pure essence pure vibration once you align your your vibration with their vibration they can feel you they can come and sit on you kiss you 
butterflies, you name it, birds, you name anything. Even a snake can be humble in front of me. A snake. So I don't know why you fear. When you fear something, that means that there is something within you that is not vibrating on the love frequency, on the love frequency, and you will just attract that. You will attract that fear to harm you down, to knock you down. It's all about the love. It's all about the love, the love that you carry in your heart, the love that you carry. You know, that's love, that's love, being in love with yourself. You know, it can be felt because I am not separated from any of this. I am not separated from you. I am not separated from the sea, from the water, from the earth from the rocks it's all alive it's vibrating it's a living thing it's sending and receiving signals all the time each of them have chakras each of them has chakras there are so much to know there are so much to understand about earth about this mystical journey just it's so much it's just so much it's just so much you can you can be stressful be disconnected you know start living in doubts and hate and all of this you can do it that 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 is that is pure hell we are in heaven heaven and hell it's all within heaven and hell can be seen this is how heaven looks like this is how heaven sounds like I feel like that I am the angel of this earth. It's all about your vibration. It's all about your pure heart. You need to just purify it because you're just born pure. Your essence, everything about you, everything about you, it's so pure. You cannot just go around and, you know, trees are so, so many trees are living together here. They're just living together if one tree fall another tree going to catch that tree up so that it don't fall fall so that means that they are so in love with each other they don't judge they don't judge about how you look what you do what you not do anything but we human we are so disconnected from our inner child our purest essence that we born with we give our false self so much food that it collapse here in life you you totally forget who you are you don't vibrate on love but from the beginning you you are pure love and you are still pure love it's like you just need to remove the clouds and the only way to remove those clouds is by re remind yourself of this ultimate truth about life, about thyself. We are higher deities here on planet Earth. We are soul in this body. We are not our body. We are pure hearted. Good intentions, beautiful actions. Sometimes our ego can run things. Our false self can come up and, and, and shut things down. Forgive yourself for that. All of this experience needed to be happened because of your own, own growth. So do not let anything to make you bitter. Do not let anything to close your heart, any heart edge, any heart, anything. No, we are divinely guided because we think that our parents are just our biological parents. No, our father and mother is loving us unconditionally. There is conditional love. There is unconditional love. Our biological parents can love us conditionally. Maybe when we been kid, they loved us unconditionally for some moments. But then we grow up, it's love become conditions. But now the unconditional love is that the sun rise for you every single day it shines for you earth is nurturing you is growing all the foods for you water the river the mountains all of these are giving you the giving you the water to melt your thirst everything around is working in your favor without judging you without telling you a thing it don't it just love you even the moon the stars every little thing the life force the air that you are getting from the trees the oxygen does not come trees does not come and say oh 
I give you too much of oxygen because of me you are living this life. No, you don't say a thing when it comes to unconditional love. You just give. You just give and give and give and take care because this is what unconditional love is. And 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 the uh, and the ultimate thing is that the father of the sky and the mother of the earth is loving you so unconditionally is that they don't tell you they don't tell you a thing they just give you full of experiences for your own growth for your own um for your own evolution you cannot hate it you cannot control it because it must be a gift in that sorrow it must be a gift in that experience you cannot throw it away you cannot hate yourself or hate your hate your sacred father and mother the father of the sky mother of earth you can't do it it's easy to hate but we are here to love you can't point finger no sun is still shining no matter what you do how much you hate sun is still gonna shine on you no matter what you do you will still get your water no matter what you do, trees are still going to give you the oxygen. No matter what you do, your body is still going to digest the food without you even realizing it. No matter what you do, if you cut yourself, your body is still going to heal, heal itself. So who to blame? Who to blame? That's why I know I'm so in love with myself right now. I'm so love. I'm, I'm grateful. <laughs> I'm grateful for this present moment and I'm grateful for y'all that been watching me for so long and supporting my growth, loving me, sharing me because all I want to do is just share my heart to you, share my thoughts, every little thing that I am channeling through my torch chakra, my pineal gland, every little thing that I'm breathing in from the higher consciousness and I'm here to serve it serve it to you all it may help you on the long journey it may it may help you right now <laughs> because it's all liberation it's all about freedom it's all about love and i hope i hope that you can tune in to, tune in it within in yourself because if you seek um your happiness your love from materialistic things external things or if you seek validation from other people this this happiness is very impermanent the permanent happiness is always right here you just need to tune in it tune it is like radio station you know you change channel right it's same it's the same you can just do it right now with me just right now just let go of all of your worries let go of those thoughts what it's bringing these people that people that people all, all together to you so that you can think father no let go of this thinking because this is your false self this is not you who've been thinking you are the observer of all this that is going on so why not fo bringing your focus and attention to this beautiful bliss <laughs> why not bring Bringing your focus and attention to this beautiful bliss. Yes, you can do it. That's why I say you just need to. You just need to come out, okay, all by yourself. You just need to come out. <laughs> you just need to come out in nature, just like me. Look, I have like millions of friends around me. All of these plants. I don't need. I am in peaceful state. So you just need to come out. And surrender it to nature, ground yourself and just, you know, uh, and just lay down. You can watch the sky, you can hear the birds, you can look at the greens because green is our heart chakra. Green, it heals you when you look into the green. You, you just stay in the silence for like one hour. You know, me, I passed by many months and years in jungle just like that. So just come out and surrender to the sounds of nature and watch, watch the birds, watch, watch the sky, watch the color, you know, just, and anytime you find yourself, your false self, your ego, it, it wants you to focus on this and that and that and that, it all falls, it's all impermanent, these things, doesn't it really matter? What's really matter is actually catching up with that bliss in this present moment catching up with that harmony catching up with that sacred wisdom in this present moment catching up with the happiness in this present moment just catch it catch up with it it's just right here 
just right here ground yourself and the only way the one and one the fastest way is is also just say hey thank you you give even thank you to the thoughts of your false self just say hey thank you do not try to neglect it do not try to become its enemy do not try to throw it throw it away don't just just say hey thank you i give thanks to everybody here in my life you can think about your parents you can think about lovers you can think about kids your friends your enemies whoever it is you can think about nature trees the birds the water the sky the sunlight okay the rocks you can think about your clothes your shoes your legs your eyes your nose the breath the air you can think about 